Okay, hi ladies. Um, this is going to be your 30 minute workout that I'm putting together for you for while I'm away or whenever you want to do it um, in between classes. So what you're going to need is you're going to have your 6 kg kettlebell for this class and your step. We're going to keep it nice and simple. So just your 6 kg kettlebell, your step and your mat to have your step on to keep uh, safe. And I'm just going to do a simple class today to keep it a nice flow to it with me not there um, and modify anything as you want to. The other thing was you might want to stick on some music yourself because I won't have that on the background here. So I'll set the timer and we'll get warmed up. So just get a bit of space, roll the shoulders back and we're going to start off in a bit of a march. So just swing the arms, march it out and we'll loosen up here. So just think about where you're tight, start to loosen up. Just going to turn up the timer a bit here. Okay, and you can start to open up the arms, chest openers. Okay, drop those arms and we'll just take the heels back. So little tiny squat in between your hamstring curl and you can pull the arms back so hamstring curl one each side pull the arms back keep going that's it okay we're going to drop the arms plant the feet and go into a shallow squat, feet hip width apart, squat down, sitting back into your squat, squeeze the glutes at the top. So squat back and stand tall, chest up, just start to loosen up. Not too deep yet, we'll do two rounds of this warm up. One more squat, and just take it side to side. So just take it into a um, side step, reach your arms out and in, lengthen the arms. Okay, press the arms up, up. Just taking that wide step and press the arms down. Okay, drop the arms and back to that high knee march. So we're back to the top here for a second round and we're going into the high knee march again and if you're ready you can add a little bounce to loosen up the ankles to get the heart rate up a little bit you've got about 10 seconds here and then we'll go back to the hamstring curl three two one so let's do two on each side this time. Two hamstring curls each side. That's it, double, double. Bring those arms back a little bit further. Warm up the tricep. All the way up to the shoulder and then push them back. One more each side and then plant the feet shoulders back, squat. A little bit deeper this time, reach those arms forward, push them back. Feel your heart rate coming up a little bit. Just a nice quick warm up here, but we're getting everything loosened up. Couple more minutes. Give me one more squat after this one and then step it left and right. This time we're gonna take it into that ski hop. So back foot floats or just taps down behind you. Hop it left and right. Get those arms, pull them back, reach forward. That's it, give me five seconds. 
now plant those feet a little bit wider apart for this one we're gonna lunge left and right left and right lunge bend straighten one leg bend the other okay let's do arm circles while we lunge keep that leg movement going getting a bit deeper as you're warm as you warm up now keep going with the legs and reach across with the arm reach 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 down to the opposite foot you can reach up to the ceiling with one arm down to the foot with the other okay 10 seconds go a bit deeper a bit faster and you're done okay shoulders back feet together and just march it out so we're going to go into our high intensity or cardio segment now and we're going to use the step for that so you can get your step onto your um mat get it ready for yourself and um you won't need the weight for this section get your quick drink of water and we'll get started Okay, so we're gonna start up on the step. You know, you know all these steps. We're only doing movements that you're familiar with today. So you're up on your step and we're gonna go step tap left and right to start with. So we'll get started in about 20 seconds. So just do your march up on the step here. Get ready to go. 10 seconds, so two feet on the step. We're gonna hop left and right. In three, two, one. So we've got about 20 seconds of work and then we have a few seconds in between each exercise to recover. So tapping, to modify this, just take it a bit slower. Let's go, three, two, one. Okay, you've got three, you've got 15 seconds in between each exercise. Your next one is your runner. One foot on the step, one foot off, and you're gonna be bringing that knee up towards your chest. Pump the arms, let's go. 20 seconds. This is always a good push. Just go at your own pace. You can slow it down or speed it up. You've got 10 seconds here. Push. Let's go. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, you've got your few seconds in between. Take them. Find your center. Other foot up on the step. Same thing with the other leg. Make sure you're stable. Get ready. Let's go. Pump the arms. Use them for balance. Chest up. Tap it out. Come on, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, brilliant. So we did three harder exercises there. We'll take this one a little bit easier. So you can just tap it out in between. We're gonna step over here. Step over the step left and right. So take it nice and easy, especially if you need the recovery. If you want to make it harder, you can always do your hop over. Just watch that your mat isn't in the way. But you can take this one nice and easy if you need to. It's a good recovery one. Okay, so next exercise, two feet on the step to start with. Then we're gonna step down on one side and we're gonna squat down and up just on that one side. Ready, let's go. Squat and up. Now, if your legs start to really tire out, just make that squat a bit more shallow. Push back the hips a little bit. If you've got the energy, 
nice and deep, stand tall. And you're done on this side. We're gonna do the other one. Just get ready, take a second in between. Take a breath. Let's go, squat, stand tall. Pressing your weight into the foot, into the heel of the foot that's on the step. You can do your little bicep curls here for arms if you want. Add them in, push the arms back. Last one. Okay, our last one in this group and then we repeat. So this is our recovery movement. It's just a march on the step or a march off the step if you feel more balanced. Let's go. Just march it out. Or if you want to take it off the step and just jog it out. That's your, there are your seven hit cardio exercises for the step. We're gonna repeat them once more. So just a few more seconds here, we'll recover and then we'll go back to that step tap left and right. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one. And add in that punch. I can see you doing them nice and strong. Brilliant. 10 seconds. Lovely. Okay, you're done with that one. Back to runners. Take off another layer. Okay, one foot on the step, one foot off. Ready? Pump the arms, knee up to chest. Let's go, nice and strong. Just one side. You've got three, two, one. Well done. Okay, just watch your step, your footing. Take a breath in between, slow it down, speed it up as you want to. Ready, let's go, other side. So once you're feeling the burn and the push, that's all you want. Listen to your body. Squeaky floorboard there. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, brilliant. So we're at the midpoint of this round. So we can take this as a recovery movement, stepping over the step, or you can speed it up and add in a hop if you want. Let's go. Last few seconds, take it easy. Okay, so we've got our squats to one side of the step. So two feet on the step, step down on one side, shoulders back, hips are gonna go back, arms forward and stand tall. Let's go. Sit back, stand tall, for three, two, one. Well done. Okay, one side done. We've got to even it out and then we'll finish off this group. So let's step down on the other side, feet more or less in line and then sit back. That foot on the floor might be back slightly just make sure you can get a nice even squat. Chest forward, hips back. Keeping that chest up and not coming down too far. You're done. Okay, last exercise here. Let's take it into a step tap to finish off. So keep it nice and low or 
or you can add in a bounce if you want. Let's go, last one on the step. You can kick it out of the way after this. Tap, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, done with that. So squat down and pick up your step. You can move it out of the way. Take a minute to recover, get yourself some water. And then we're gonna move on to our six kg kettlebell uh, circuit. Now, if you want to use the dumbbell, the four kg or the three, if you're not feeling up to the six today, go for it, just change it out. Or you can leave out the weight for some of them if you want. Um, so take your minute here. So I'm going to show you what we have. We've got five different exercises, simple movements, a little bit of a variety, but things that you know already, things you're familiar with. So we'll have our kettlebell in front of our, just, just in front, in between our feet to start with. Feet about hip width apart, slightly wider for our first exercise, which is the squat. And we're going to squat down to pick up the weight. We're gonna squat back and press the weight up for a goblet squat press. I'm just gonna try to get a bit of a better angle there. Okay, so we're gonna go in 10 seconds. Get yourself ready there. Pause me if you need to at any, any stage. And then when you're ready, let's go. Squat back press the weight up. So you're controlling that weight on the way down and on the way up. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Keep those elbows tight. Stacking that weight above your head, keeping everything aligned. Control the movements. Feel free to slow it down. And you can always do these squats without the press if you need to. Last one. Okay, taking a few seconds in between each exercise. Shoulders back. We're going into a kettlebell swing next. So feet same width apart, maybe slightly wider. Shoulders back. We're gonna hike that weight back and bring it up to about eye level. Let's go. We've got 35 seconds for each exercise. Exhale on the way up here. Inhale on the way down. Keeping your chest forward. Get those hips to lift that weight. If this gets too much, you can always slow it down and take it into an upright row if you want to change it up. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, make sure there's a bit of space behind you. We're going into reverse lunges next. So you can squat that weight up to your chest, shoulders back, hips or elbows in. Two feet together. We're gonna step back with one leg, let's go. And then with the other. Now just step back far enough that you can still um, balance well. It doesn't throw you off balance. And only go so deep as you feel comfortable. Okay, keeping it going. You can always change this up for a squat or a different movement that you prefer. Any of the movements you can do that. Holding that weight close and you're done. Just finish off, even out the sides and then you're done with that one. So, two more here. Toes out a little bit for this one. Feet good hip width apart. And we're gonna deadlift the weight back, down and hips go back, and then we're gonna squat. So let's do that. Deadlift, hips go down, back, weight comes down. Then we're gonna squat, and then we'll bring the weight around the body, around the world. 
deadlift again, deadlift, squat again, and around the world the other way. So that's our combination, deadlift, wide squat, around the world, nice solid plank with the body. Sorry, I forgot the deadlift there. Then squat, and then around the world. Okay, so we're gonna put the weight down for this one, and we're gonna tap the toes left and right, and just tap the weight. So like a lateral lunge tap, you can slow it down and speed it up as you want. Ready, we're gonna leave the weight down, and let's go. So tapping, I'm gonna come at an angle here. Tap, tap. Hips go back, chest comes forward, nice flat back. And you can slow it down or speed it up with a hop. That's it, let's keep going. We've got just a few seconds left. And then I'm gonna give you a quick break before we repeat that group once more. And you're done. Okay, take a second here. So that's our, there are five kettlebell exercises. Just gonna take a second to get a drink of water, recover, and we're gonna do them again, and then we're gonna stretch, and you're done then. So you're doing great, you're nearly there. Grab your quick drink. So we're going back up the top for those kettlebell squat presses. Okay, I'm gonna set the timer. You can always pause me for longer if you want. So, you're picking up the weight, bring it up to chest, height, elbows in, let's go. Squat, press. Exhale, control the weight, down, inhaling. And then take it back into your squat. Feel free to lower the weight for this final round if you want. Come on, all the way to the end. Three, two, one. Brilliant, well done. Shoulders back, kettlebell swing. Take a second in between. Just loosen up if you need to. Get those hips ready to carry that weight up. Three, two, one. Hold on to that weight tight. Watch those lights. 20 seconds here, keep going or change up the exercise if you want to. That's it, nearly there, 10. Engage those glutes at the top of the movement. Last one, slow down the weight. Okay, take your breath in between. So you're gonna get that weight up to chest height again. Use your squat to bring it up if you need to. Two feet together, you're stepping into that alternating reverse lunge. Check behind you and let's go. Nice controlled movement here. You're using a lot of balance. You can always change this out to a forward lunge or a lunge left to right. Keep going. Just over five, four, three, finish off. Well done. We're back into that combination. So toes out, slightly wider than hip width, your feet are shoulders back. We're going for the deadlift, squat, and around the world in one direction, and then we repeat 
the other direction. Let's go. Deadlift down, stand tall, squat and around. Pass the weight over, do it again. Other direction with the weight. If you forget the combination, just keep going. Get back into it like I did. Deadlift, squat, around the world. One more time. Deadlift, squat. Let's go around the world once each, each direction. Brilliant. Okay, so weight down again, squat the weight down, and we're going tap with the opposite hand and foot moving. In three, two, let's go. This is our final push. So let's give it one more push for this workout and then we'll cool down and stretch it out. So chest forward, lunging left and right. Add in that hop if you can, 20 seconds. Tap down. If you can't reach down that far, just reach. You don't have to reach all the way down to the kettlebell. That's just an option. Keep going, you can do it. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Take a second, take a breath, and then we'll cool down together. Brilliant work. Okay, so grab your water. You need something after that. That little push at the end. Okay, just march it out. Bring those heels up, starting to lengthen out the quads as you bring those heels up. Getting back into our hamstring curls like we were doing at the beginning. Let's go. Okay. Just a few more seconds on this. Now, let's plant the feet. One foot forward, one foot back, shoulders back. Let's sink all the way down. So that back knee is down and you're leaning over that front knee. You're gonna get a nice deep stretch in that glute and you're stretching your hips. So you can come in on the inside of your leg here, bring your chest down a little bit and deepen the stretch. Make sure this foot is flat and just hold that stretch there for a few seconds. We're stretching out the hip and the glutes. Taking a few breaths. Slowly our breath is slowing down. Now we can come back, lean on that back leg, on your hip, on your heel back here, and lengthen out that front leg. So you're getting a hamstring stretch here on that front leg. Same leg as you were just stretching a moment ago. Stretching the back of it here. Bring your toe in towards you. Stretch it out, chest comes forward. Nice flat back. That's it, lovely, take it. Nice and easy there for a moment. Hold that stretch, take your breaths. Okay, lovely. So come up out of that, stand up again, shoulders back. Now we'll step back with the other leg. That leg we just stretched goes back. Bring that knee all the way down and lean over the front leg again. You can come in on the inside of that leg again and just hold, get a stretch in the glute and in the hip area. That back leg is just resting, your foot is resting down here. You can kind of see my foot there. Okay, just hold it there for a few more seconds. Taking your breaths and then sit back on that back heel, stretch out that front leg again, chest comes forward, and then bring your toe in towards you to deepen the stretch in the back of the leg and in the calf. Hamstring calf stretch now. Take your breaths, just hold. Okay, and slowly come up. So. Get yourself up carefully, just take it up little by little. Toes out, shoulders back. 
Let's do a nice deep squat here, big arm circles. I want you to reach long from the waist, lengthen, 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 take your breath in. And then give me some arm circles where you're really reaching with your fingertips. Exhaling here. Now bring your arm across your chest, looking over your shoulder. Just hold here for a few seconds. Open up your chest and other side. And open again. Okay. Big arm circles backwards. And then small little shoulder rolls. Just loosen up from the waist. Give me a little march here to loosen up the hips a bit more. Okay, stand tall and just listen to your body. If there's anywhere tight now, just give it a moment to stretch it out. Just holding that stretch for a few seconds. Take one more breath in. Let's put toes out once more. Little squat. Once more, take your breath in as you reach up. Exhale. Shoulders back. Roll those shoulders back. And you're done. That's your 30 minute workout. All done. Brilliant work. You got to the end. And I know you did fabulous. See you soon.